Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here once again. Um, coming back to you from our summer home on Vancouver Island. We're back in Campbell River. Just love it here. So we've we've booked in for another four months. Anyway, today I thought I'd give you a look at uh, some of my favorite uh, maintenance products. So uh, none of these companies sent me freebies or anything. These are all things I bought on my own. So I'm not trying to promote any particular company, but uh, I've spent about five years full timing. Before that, I RV'd quite a bit on weekends and stuff. So I've tried literally hundreds of different products, and these ten here are ones I always keep in stock and I really like. So I'd like to go through each one and uh, explain, you know, why I like it and what I use it for. There's a couple over there. You got a couple Protectile products: the wax, slide, dry lube. 303 protectant that's for kind of like a lot of your vinyl stuff the simple green green is a good all-around um, spray cleaner um, happy camper for the waste tanks got some gorilla tape and a turnabond tape I uh, got some permatex dielectric grease I got some plumbers grease and this is a microfiber cleaning cloth so let's go through each one and I'll, I'll show you what I use them for and why I like them Okay, let's start with the nastiest maintenance job first, taking care of your poo tank. So, um, generally when I'm on full hookups like I am now for extended stays, I just use a ton of water. Like with every flush, I'll use a, a really decent amount of water so that my, my tank gets really diluted. Also, I'll dump it only when it's right near full so I get a good good wash and of course I have a black tank flush to I'll do once in a while so in that state I find I can get away with just using some cheap laundry detergent a little bit of water softener kind of to keep the tank tank in shape but I spend a lot of the season four or five months where I'm boondocking and dry camping and the biggest thing you want to do is conserve your water so that's where the happy campers I really like um, does a great job at reducing the odors and liquefying the waste but uh, one of the best things I like about it let's get the lid off here this is an attractive video is it's uh, just this white powder and you only need that much I think it's like an ounce of it also my favorite thing is there's absolutely no smell to it I can't stand the the smells of a lot of these uh, deodorants that are like dark blue or purple or something. It is reek of perfume. This stuff is odor free and excellent. Also won't hurt any septic systems like stuff like that. So I highly recommend this one. It's also pretty cheap. It comes, you know, 40 ounce, that's 40 tank loads. Um, if you have a really dirty tank or if it's really hot out, you can use twice as much, but it comes in at about a buck a use. So that's pretty, pretty good. So you can take it from a a long-term boondocker this stuff really works along with my um, on the roof I changed the roof fence to that 360 siphons and I think they've they've helped out a lot too so I'll put a link to, to that blog post in the in the video description if you want to check that out next uh, sort of related item is called plumber's grease so it's a it's a gooey looking silicone grease but it uh, won't wash away with water so what I use that for is the rubber seal down there if you let that go and it dries out it cracks and pretty soon your tanks always leaking so you know you're you're losing water constantly through there you're draining it and without that in the black tank without that water to seal it you're gonna get odors coming back up so every once in a while you know every month or two I'll I'll get a rubber glove and, and cover that seal with this plumber's grease. It's also good for any other rubber O-rings in the in the rig's plumbing, so like the water hose and uh, the um, sewer hose has little rubber O-rings in it, so you can refresh those once in a while with this and that'll keep you from uh, having water leaks. It's also super cheap. This stuff's around like three or four dollars and last years. Next we have the microfiber cleaning cloth. This is my wife's uh, contribution to this list. She does most of the inside cleaning and she just loves this rather than using any chemicals. She's allergic to a lot of stuff. 
she just takes this cloth and wets it, wets it down and wrings it out. And then it can pretty well clean anything in the rig, like, you know, microwave, you got greasy marks on there. And the great thing about it is it doesn't leave streaks behind. So she goes through, you know, do any of the cough, there's the tea kettle, any of the black surfaces on there. She'll go up and she'll go pretty well all over the rig with this stuff and she just keeps wringing it out. And uh, she even do our uh, TV screen. It doesn't leave any streaks, can use glass, everything, so that's a, that's a winner. And you want to make sure you get the, the right ones. There's a, I'm not sure. She got it from a lady in a campground that was selling them. I've seen them around, but uh, they're like... Um, I think I have a link on my uh, blog post so you can buy some of these. But man, they work. They last a long time. When they're kind of dirty, you can just throw them in the, the washing machine and they'll wash right up and come back again. So yeah, that's a good one. They're cheap. Don't have to buy a lot of cleaners. And had a lot of noxious chemicals in your rig. Okay, next we have 303 Aerospace Protectant. It's got to be good if it says Aerospace, right? <laughs> anyway, it is good, um, but expensive. This little 16-ounce uh, bottle ran me $17 US, but uh, you don't need much. You want to use it pretty sparingly. Um, my main use for it is m with my awning. Once I've done the cleaning on my awning, then I'll go through and apply a, a thin film of this, and it's got a high UV block in it, so uh, that reduces your awning getting old and cracked and dried out. It's also good for all kinds of other vinyl stuff. Um, I use it on the, the Big Blues dash and stuff like that, anything vinyl, the seats. Um, also, Anne uses on her boat. You can see on there is a picture of a boat. So she has a kind of a vinyl bim bimini top on her boat. So every year she uh, puts this stuff on before boating season, and when she puts it away in her vinyl, it's she's like a seven-year-old boat, and it's in perfect shape. Also, our awning's still looking good, so it's well worth the price and uh, putting it on to protect that that sort of stuff. Next, we have Simple Green. So this is, uh, mainly I use it for cleaning anything that's kind of got greasy dirt on it. It's an excellent grease cutter. Um, so one, one use is the old barbecue. When I go through and clean the grill and all the innards and stuff, I can use the Simple Green, let it soak in. I can, can wipe off the grease there. Another one is, you know, the white plastic on our doors where, you know, your hands are all sitting opening and closing you get some black marks on there. So any black marks on the on the rig. Um, it's actually really effective on black streaks. It's actually better than the so-called black streak cleaner. Only caveat to that is it's so good it'll actually strip some of the wax off. So I'll only when I use it I'll use it before, just before I'm gonna wash and wax the rig. So I'll go around and get all the black streaks off with that, you know, or any of the the rubber on the slide where the, the slide rubber is kind of worn onto the, the white wall of the rig. I'll use that and then I know I'm going to be putting a fresh coat of wax on it anyway so I'm not so concerned. Um, yeah, so anything that that involves removing grease I find this really excellent. Um, on the back stabilizer and front landing jacks sometimes you know I, I lube them so they attract dirt and stuff like that so I'll use this to clean clean all that before I re-lube it. Um, that's in its super concentrated form, but you also can dilute it into a, a kind of a, a, a um, duh, into a, you can dilute it quite a bit and use it as a floor cleaner, stuff like that. Um, one thing it doesn't have is like germ killing ability, so like a, like something with ammonia or bleach would have, but Overall, it's just a handy cleaner to have around the rig for all sorts of tasks, and it's found in, in pretty well any store out there, so it's easy to acquire. Next item is called Protecto All Surface Care. Um, so this is basically a cleaner wax product. Um, so I use this to wax the rig, wax the truck, but it also will do windows and rubber and vinyl and even leather, so it Basically, it'll go on, onto almost any surface and clean it and leave a nice protective film on it. Um, so, it's also 
when you put it on it comes off really easily so it's quite quick so I use this maybe every two three months if I can if I'm not like in a place where I can't even wash the rig I don't want to grind the dirt into stuff but if I can wash the rig I'll, I'll do a coat of this um, once a year I use a product called Pro RV boat and aircraft wax it's more of a traditional paste wax and takes a little bit of elbow grease but in between times I use this stuff on all kinds of uh, places so I really like this protect all, all surface care um, there's also a few other products there's a there's one for doing your rubber rubber seals on your slide and another one I'll show you next that does the the um, lubrication everywhere yeah here's that slide out it's a slide out dry lube protectant but I also use it on my rear stabilizing jacks and anywhere I'm <clears throat> I want some lubrication but I don't want it to attract dirt and dust um, it's also a rust inhibitor which is important for us uh, again being on the salty coast going down the Oregon coast a lot of times we get a lot of salt on the rig so I'll use this all a lot of the undercarriage I'll use this it's not cheap it's, it's paid twenty four dollars for this can of course that's Canadian dollars um, probably US it's more like nineteen dollars or twenty dollars um, yeah it kind of has a weird smell to it but uh, it's the best dry lube I've ever used for the, the slide and stuff a lot of the the lithium grease stuff I find doesn't last near as long per application as, as this stuff does. It, it's that Protect All brand as well. So uh, let's go under and I'll spray a little out so you can see what it looks like. In the belly of the beast under the slide, so you can see the, the teeth slide rails there. I'll just coat that with this stuff. See, it's sort of a brownish stuff. But works like a hot dam. Okay, so we're up on the roof now, and I'm showing you the Eternabon tape. This is a, a roof repair tape. Comes, I usually get it in this four foot or four inches by 50 foot roll. Um, it's great for resealing um, your roof seams. Like here's my when I installed the fantastic vent. So I installed that about a year and a half ago, and I laid the tape down. There's also some die core, but that's sort of just along the seams there. But that seals that up really nice, and you can see after a year and a half, it still looks great. I'll show you a few other places I've used it. Up on the roof, you know, I sealed the skylight, the other vent covers there, and the tape's all in, still in really good shape. You don't have to worry about going up and replacing cracking old globs of die core. And it goes right over the die core quite nice. I also used it on my solar installation, kind of to keep the, wi the wires in place there. It worked really well for that too, so I didn't have to put any holes in the in the roof and put in little uh, holders. Also, when I put the solar panels down, I put some of the Eternabon underneath so that the the feet didn't damage my rubber roof. Gave it a platform to go on. Also helped us seal the screw holes so yeah that's awesome stuff let's give you a little look around here where we're camped the RV park in Campbell River right on on a spit you can see that's the Discovery Passage the beautiful coast mountains over there across the way lots of good fishing up here let's turn around great RV park and then on the side that we're situated in we have a saltwater estuary with eagles and herons and deer all sorts of things and every day it floods to be a, like a lake and then the tide goes out and it becomes a grassland so yeah Scott Ann just got a brand new fish sock <laughs> okay let's move on to the next one another favorite of mine is called Permatex dielectric tune-up grease. It's kind of a sil silicone based grease I believe and it's to protect all your electronic um, connections from oxidizing. So I'll use this for example on my battery bank. I'll, I'll put a nice little film of it all around the bolts and the connectors and that'll keep them from uh, oxidizing. 
especially like I said again in the salt air that we go into a lot of times things like to oxidize pretty quickly um, I also use it for uh, my trailer um, hookup line where it connects together I put some on that as well to keep it from oxidizing and also in some of the bulb sockets like the rear the rear tail lights and on the truck bulb sockets put a little bit of that and you don't get that uh, oxidation on the connections in there it just keeps the air out and away from the connections so yeah good stuff on that um, a lot of the electrical connections before I connect them um, I'll use a product called OxGuard or there's another one called NoOx and it's more of a it's not a dielectric grease it's just a reduces oxidation and improves the electrical context contacts so I do that first and then put some of this on top of that um, once I've connected it. Um, another product that uh, people use is called Fluid Film and I've heard good things about it as well. It's just a little harder. They don't seem to sell it very very much up here in Canada so this one seems to be available everywhere so that's the one I choose to use. And the final of my favorite RV maintenance products is this good old Gorilla Tape. So it's a lot like duct tape but a little more stickier and can stick to a lot rougher rougher um, surfaces also it's a little thicker so uh, I mainly use that and just go underneath the rig here underneath my uh, cougar it has kind of a plastic chloroplast uh, cover so a lot of times I need to access something here's like an access port to get at something so I have several of those that I've cut and so once I access it I need to reseal it and the Gorilla Tape works really well like this port here I haven't accessed that for years and you see it's still stuck really well so that works really good for that so I always keep that on board just in case I have to go in there and uh, do some sort of repair access it for a modification the other thing I keep it for is just in case we had an accident or something like say this got ripped off one of our tires went and I had stuff hanging at least if you have a, a good solid tape like that you can uh, tape yourself back on till you get to a, a, a repair facility so that's another one of my favorite uh, maintenance items to have on board so there you go I hope you found that useful um, if you want any more in-depth uh, information on the products I, I showed there's a blog post on my blog I'll link it in the this video and uh, in the description to the video um, there's also links to if you want to buy the products there's some links to to acquire them there so uh, the next few months I'm going to be reviewing some products I got some cool products being sent to me on the way I got a flexible solar panel a really cool leveling system so I'm going to have a lot of fun now that I'm stationary here in beautiful British Columbia. So uh, stay tuned for that. Until next time, this is Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers!